Hey everyone, I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to uh, install HD texture packs on Minecraft. At the moment I've got it on the uh, standard texture pack that comes with the game. And in in a window I get between 100 and 300 frames a second. Full screen, I get between 300 and 500. Uh, this is important, is the higher the texture pack you install, the lower your frame rate is going to go. So you need to find a good balance for your system. Right. Uh, first of all, go back to title in the game you won't need that. You're going to need two things. First is the MC Patcher, which uh, if you type in MC Patcher one word in Google and click the top link, scroll down to the download uh, thing, click download. It'll open the same page again for some reason. But you scroll down and download again. This time it'll work, right. Then you simply click the, if you're on Windows, which most people will be, you click on the mcpatcher.exe, the Windows binary. If not, uh, get the mcpatcher 2.1.0 underscore 02 jar. I'll get the uh, Windows binary. I'll do a different tutorial for Linux uh, later on. I just need to reinstall graphics drivers on my Linux OS. Alright, save it to your desktop. Double click it and press run. Right, then all you have to do is click this big button that says patch, or you can just press P, but clicking the button is more satisfying for some reason. And then uh, you close that. The next thing we'll need is a texture pack. Uh, to do that, you just type in uh, HD. I'm going to go for the biggest texture pack. Now that's why I was mentioning frame rates before. If you've got quite a low frame rate, uh, it's probably better to install uh, the minimum HD one, which is 64 uh, bit. But if you've got an, an average frame rate, go for the 128. If you've got a high frame rate, go for the 256. 256. Uh, the higher you go up, the more demanding on your graphics card and the more demanding on your processor. Uh, the uh, game will be right. Uh, I can handle it, so I'll go for the two five six two five six. Start the download. Save it to desktop. I've already I've already downloaded it previously because it can take a while from uh, sometimes. Right now, simplest. Just click marks and textures. Open texture pack folder. Drag it in. Now it's in there, and then you just click on it in the list. It will freeze for a bit. It just does this for while well, it's loading all the textures. It's got to load a lot more information. With the the original textures are only 16 bits. Uh, each of these textures are well 16 bits by 16 bits. These are 256 by 256, which is a hell of a lot more if you think about it. So give it a minute. Eventually it will. There we go. Once it's done, you click done. It'll freeze again for a couple of seconds. Then just load a world, and you'll see a lot better texture for, uh, textures. Now, as you can see, my frame rate's halved, and now I'm only 133, 100-ish uh, when I was at least double that, if not more. Now you will get more frame rates running at full screen, as opposed to windowed. Because, but I can't show you with my uh, screen recording uh, software. Uh, if you, if, if this, uh, the, it doesn't, when you load the text, you pack up the game crashes, uh, and when you try to restart, it comes out with an out of memory issue. Uh, I will paste a link to one of my other tutorials, which will show you how to fix that. It's quite common when, uh, because the original. Java heap size is not large enough for the HD textures. You need about, as you can see in the top right of my screen, about two gig to uh, get it working properly with the full HD texture. The 128 you can run on about one and a half gig, one gig, and the 64 will work under one gig. Okay, well that's all you need to do to install a, a HD texture. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you uh, like it, make sure you click the little thumbs up and uh, 
Uh, any questions, post them in the comments. Thanks for watching.